हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब वेलकम बैक रिक्वेस्ट यू इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग इनोवेशन अपडेट्स एंड सच काइंड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑन सेलेक्टर सेलेक्टर सब एंड टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो एंड लॉट मोर ग्रेट थैंक यू सो हाउ कैन वी हैंडल दी क्लोज शेडोडॉम सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट लाइक क्लोज शेडोडॉम एलिमेंट्स जनरली लाइक and the concept itself is that we cannot hand we cannot inspect them sorry we can inspect them but we cannot write these selectors for them we cannot locate them basically we don't have access to those elements which are inside closed shadow dom so if any element is inside closed shadow dom due to security reason W3C, as per the W3C standard with the definition of closed shadow DOM, we cannot inject our Java script inside the closed shadow DOM. So if you read that this is the uh, MDN web docs. So when the mode of shadow root is closed, the shadow roots implementation internals are inaccessible and unchangeable from Java script. So this is the fact, and this is the region that we cannot like inspect any element uh sorry i would say we cannot write the x path and then we can inspect that uh, we can locate that element through automation or through java script or through any automation api if we we cannot access that element which is inside close shadow down so in this kind of situation how can we write the select how can we like uh, perform some action how can we like if there is any input box how can we enter the value inside close shadow dom elements so let's see what uh, what could be work around for this kind of situation because uh, it's been quite some time that many people have asked me how can we handle such kind of close shadow dom elements so uh, here i'm sure you must have checked that uh, web page which i have recently created and developed to practice to learn more such kind of concepts related to selectors xpath etc here this xpath practice page where you will find all such complex scenarios so here if you see just scroll down there is an <coughs> field like enter password so let's inspect this element and see if this is inside shadow dom or close shadow dom so you can see that this is inside close shadow root and in fact here if you open selectors up this will let you know that this element is inside close shadow dom okay which is inaccessible so what can we do in this kind of situation in this kind of situation <clears throat> we cannot like directly access this element like we cannot write the css selector for this element to access this and then we can use that in our selenium script okay so what we should do in this kind of situation so <coughs> this is a work around guys to like enter some value like if we have to enter some value in this field through selenium then how can we enter so this is a work around i'm telling you we cannot locate this element like we cannot write css selector for this element and then we will use like driver dot uh, find element or the java uh, or the code which we used to switch inside or to get the access of shadow dom whatever you would say so even that java script executor will not work in this case when you have the element inside close shadow dom so whatever whatever i am going to show you guys that's a work around to uh, enter and to perform some action on to the elements which are inside close shadow dom okay so x pass css uh, css selector we cannot write for this one one concept then second is that how can we enter value in this field so to enter value in this field what work around we can use we should try to locate any ne very nearby element like for this element if you see in the dom this input just above this shadow root try to see some element here just above this close shadow root see some element is there this is a div div id user password so what we will do like we can get this element okay so this for this element here 
we got the XPath CSS selector and we can see that this is neither inside Cerodom or anything like that. This is this element is on the uh, like basically the top level DOM element. So we can what we will try to do here, we will try to click on this element. We will click on this element. Basically, we will put our focus on this element, which is the very near to our element, which is uh, very near to close shadow DOM element. So we will try to put our focus on this nearby element and then from there we will press tab key so our focus will come inside this and then there we will use the action class to enter some value here action class we will use to enter the value in the element in the box where our cursor is currently focused so let's see how can we do this so here I have written a piece of code, very simple code to open this website, selectorsub.com slash xpath practice page. After opening this website, <coughs> what we need to do, we need to click on this nearby element to our this. So here is the xpath we got CSS select uh, everything we are getting here. What we will do, like we'll turn on this. So you see that here, <coughs> Here if you turn on this, we got the complete command. So let's copy this xpath command from here and we'll paste this. And what we want, we want to click on this. So we have clicked on that. Now after clicking on that, we will use the actions class here. So actions class, like you can use the selenium actions class. I'm sure you must be aware about that. Actions and new actions. Here we'll pass the driver after this what we need to do we need to press the tab key so act dot send keys <coughs> here we need to enter the tab key so keys dot tab dot perform i would request you guys please learn more about actions class if you are new to how to use the actions class then uh, after Putting, so this what this will do this will basically put our focus here in this uh, box after putting the focus we want to enter some value so act dot send keys and then we can enter some value let's say a b c one two three four five so this will enter the field there and then perf dot perform okay so th this piece of code what is it is doing first we are clicking a nearby element which is outside the closed shadow DOM and then after that we are pressing the tab keys to enter the value in that so let's execute this and see if we are able to enter the value in that element and you see it has entered some value here in the password field and if you want to see that if it has ex entered that exact value i will show you that as well you can inspect this password field here as this is type is equal to password so if i make it text then you can see the value as well so you see that <coughs> abc12345 it has entered the value in, inside the closed shadow dom element if you will not use this approach and you will try to directly access that element then it will not work like it would not be able to figure it out like let me just comment this and show you guys this one <coughs> let's say if we write this was the element and here id it has id is equal to pwd so if we try to access this element directly driver dot find element by dot id and we enter the value and let's say send keys here suppose abc123 we want to enter and if we try to execute this <clears throat> this will not work even if we use the javascript uh, executor that generally general code of uh, accessing the shadow dom element then also it will not work so i will not go through that that will again a time consuming thing you guys know aware about, uh, aware about that of course so no such element exception you will get in that case if you will try to access that element directly so this is the way that you can <coughs> access the shadow dom close shadow dom elements which you cannot 
access directly or through the uh, javascript or through the selenium this is a workaround okay so one is this example what if like closed shadow dom is like more complex thing in suppose that closed shadow dom is inside iframe in that situation how can we handle like there is a field here in selectors of web, uh, this website xpath practice page this coffee time okay so let's inspect this element <coughs> sorry so you see that this input box is inside closed shadow dom okay then this closed shadow dom is inside iframe this one so how can we handle this kind of situation <coughs> so first again do the same approach use the same approach here if you open selector sub <coughs> so we got to know that this element is inside closed shadow dom and it's also telling that this is inside iframe cool so what we will do first we need to switch inside iframe right so this element is inside iframe and we should try to click on this element which is the nearby this element the same approach we will use here as well so to click on this element first we will have to switch inside iframe and we got the iframe x path as well as the element x path so here let's turn on this command feature so we got the complete command now so it become very simple let's delete this piece of code <coughs> or let me just start from here so that i can show you guys that same piece of code we will use this again these three lines will be the same again these three lines in fact like you can use these three lines of code always whenever you need to handle the closed shadow dom i mean of course that should be input box uh, i would uh, change my statement that you will have to use the code according to your requirement not just simply if you copy paste this one okay so first we need to switch inside iframe to click on this element okay so what we will do driver dot switch to dot frame and then here we need to switch inside this frame so i will copy this and paste it here so we have switch inside iframe now what we want we want to click on this element so this is the selector command for this element so dot click <coughs> of course guys id is there so we can avoid using xpath here we can directly uh, switch inside iframe without using this if you can say that we can directly do this yes you can do this as well you can need not to do uh, like all those things you can directly switch inside frame using the id values <coughs> here like you can just pass the pact packed and it will switch and here also in place of x path if id is there you can use the id like here you will get this like this way so you can simply copy the id thing if you doesn't want to use x path so let me do this approach so this is a, like better thing and now after switching inside iframe we clicked on that element and now what we need to do we need to just use these lines of code that we need to create the object of actions class then you use the tab key this will focus on that element and then enter the value let's see so do you love coffee i will say yes and now try to execute this code and see so this is just a four five line of code it's very simple first we switch inside iframe then we clicked on that nearby element and then we use the action class press the tab key and then enter the value let's execute this and see if this works perfect so this work and it has entered the value just here so we have seen that how can we handle the closed shadow dom element which we cannot locate through javascript or selenium because of like very obvious region as they are inside closed shadow dom and inside closed shadow dom our elements are inaccessible so we will use some workaround like actions class we can use it here to perform some action on them like we will can use some keys to focus there then enter the value or like if th that is a link or something we want to click then first we will focus on that and then we can press the uh, we can use actions class to press the key so this is how we can handle the closed shadow dom elements guys i hope you have learned something new and this will help you like in 
many ways like to handle uh, closed shadow norm elements in your uh, workplace as well as like if in any interview or anywhere you get this kind of situation where you will have to handle closed shadow norm elements this will help you please let me know in the comment section if you want me to uh, create some tutorial on any such kind of scenarios where you are not able to handle the elements through selectors or some kind of difficult situation do let me know your scenarios i would be really helpful uh, happy to help you guys and do share this video subscribe to the channel like it and let others know so that it will help them a lot because uh, most of us like have this uh, i mean of course because the concept itself that we cannot handle the we cannot access the closed shadow norm elements because of that we used to like in the past we used to keep ignoring that uh, that we were not we cannot handle them but yes we can do that there's some work around so yeah so this is how we can handle them thank you thank you so much guys and if you want to learn more about uh, such kind of concepts in very detail all those things like how to handle these iframe how these things are happening here and uh, how you are, we are getting the complete code through selector sub and different kind of situations like nested shadow dom nested iframe iframe in inside nested shadow dom all those things if you want to learn you can join selector sub training here also like if you this timing these timings and uh, date doesn't suit you you can take these these recordings from here these are the live trainings so you will really learn a lot deeper concepts this will help you guys a lot in your day to day work to improve your productivity knowledge as well as they will help you to grow in your career in interviews etc so do check out this i'm sure this will help you guys a lot with that thank you thank you so much for watching guys have a good day see you in the next video